Jesus, we appreciate you. Jesus, we give that praise to you. We honor you this morning for all that you have done for us. We give that praise to you. Let's give that honor to the Lord. Let's give that praise to the King. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Him. Let's celebrate Emmanuel. Let's give that honor to Him. Father, we thank you this morning. Omnipotent God, we honor you this morning. Omniscience God, we honor you this morning because you alone you are worthy to receive all our praise. We thank you, Lord, for the grace of your love for our life. We thank you, Lord, for the grace of your spirit in our life. We thank you, we worship you. We exalt you, we magnify you, we honor you. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. We thank you, Lord, for what you will do. This morning, somebody, let's begin to bless him. Let us thank him. Let's thank him. Jesus, the rock of ages. Jesus, our place of strength. Jesus, our place of refuge. We thank you, Lord. We honor your name. Let's begin to thank him for all that he has done for us and for all that he will do this morning. Just begin to bless the Lord. Just begin to worship the Lord. Just begin to exalt the King for all that he has done, for all that he will do. We honor you. We praise you. We give praise to your name. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, Emmanuel. We thank you, our Lord. We thank you, our Savior. We thank you, our King. We thank you, our Redeemer. Let's worship Him. Let's give that praise to Him. Let's honor Him. Let's thank Him. Glory be to the Lord in the highest for all that he has done for us. Glory be to God in the eyes for all that he will do. Glory be to God in the eyes for grace of God's love, for grace of God's goodness, for grace of God's love for our life. Somebody, let's begin to appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate the King. Let's appreciate our Savior. Our Lord, the Lord of hosts, our Redeemer, our place of strength, our place of refuge. Let's give that honor to whom is due. Let's give that praise to whom is due to receive it all. Somebody thank Him, worship Him. My hallelujah belongs to Him. Our hallelujah belongs to Him. Our hallelujah belongs to him. Our praise belongs to him. Our worship belongs to him. Our honor belongs to him, belongs to God. Thank him, appreciate him. Let us give that praise to him. Worship the Lord from the bottom of your heart. Thank Jehovah God. The Bible says it's good thing, it is good things to thank the Lord for all that he has done, for all that he will do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the joy that you have given to me. Thank for the grace that you have given to me. Thank for the love of you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible told us in Psalm 108 verse 1, Say, O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and I'll give praise, even with my glory. Look at what he says. He said, My heart is fixed. I will sing. I will pray. I will sing. I will praise. Say, My heart is fixed to thank Him, to worship Him. Because of all that he has done for us. If you think of God's goodness, awake the summary up. I myself will awake 
early. That's what we are doing this morning. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praise unto thee among the nations. You see, I'm going to sing praise to God among the nations. For thy mercy is great above heaven, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heaven, and like the and thy glory above the earth. Lift your voice and just worship the Lord. Exhort him where you are. Think of what he has done and what he has the plan to do for you today. Just worship him from the bottom of your heart. Let's just praise him and thank him. Jesus, worship him. We thank you, oh God. We worship you. Be the exalted, O oh Lord above the heavens. Be the exalted, O oh Lord above the heavens. Let your glory be above. I Thank him wherever you are. Worship him. Worship him. Let's thank him. Give that thanks to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. Thank you, everlasting Father. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the final say. I'm a 
faithful God is righteous the Holy One of Israel will give praise to you the Holy One of Israel will thank you the Holy One of Israel will worship you the Holy One of Israel will exalt your name the Holy One of Israel will say thank you for your love the Holy One of Israel will worship that name somebody thank him give that praise to him truly is a good God Truly is a wonderful God. Truly is a powerful God. Thank Him for all that He has done for us. Thank Him for all that He will do. Thank Him for what that He has in plan in your life. Thank Him for this grace of God's love towards your life. Thank Him for the blessing of God. Jehovah God will thank you. Jehovah God will exalt you. Exalt him in Jesus' name. We pray, I believe, thanking God, give open the doors for us before him. I think it's one of the things he demands for us to come before him. You know, when you begin to thank him and say, Lord, I thank you, I worship you, I give you praise. He op those things open doors for our life before God. God is too much. He's, he's a great king. That we can just enter into his presence. Just begin to say. I need the money. I need this. I need that. Oh he's a great king. He's too much for that. So what are you talking about? What about the blessing that I've blessed you? So I think when we thank him. When we praise him. I mean you acknowledge him. By thanking God. mean you acknowledge him. Of what is doing in your life, which he wants us to do at all time to acknowledge him of his presence in our life. So God wants us to acknowledge him when we come to him. God wants you to acknowledge him. God wants me and you to acknowledge him when we come to him. And how do you do that? By giving praise. To him for all that he has done for you. You see, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah. Praise God for saving me, not only saving you. Praise God for being there for me. I want us to think of that goodness of the Lord. Think of God's mercy of the Lord. Thank Him. That song says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever we sing of the mercies of the Lord. Ah, we sing of the goodness of the Lord. Forever ah, we sing of the mercies of the Lord. Not only that, with my mouth. I will make no. You're going to declare of God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. God's faithfulness. With my mouth, I will make no. Thy faithfulness. 
to all generations. Sing, I will sing of the goodness of the Lord forever. I will sing forever. We have begun to be grateful to Him, even though to eternity. We're going to be grateful to God. For you to be there in eternity, you'll be grateful to God. I just thank you. Because remember, across the, across the street over, across the street over, there's hell. You know, the people in hell and the people in heaven, you're able to look, they were able to see what is happening there. But one day, the funniest thing, they can't be able to cross because there's a fire. They can't be able to cross. The people in other side in heaven are not able to cross where there is hell because there's a fire around that hell. There's a fire around the hell. You can't cross over. Neither them, they can't be able to cross to the other side. So they can't be able to see what's going on. You know, I know many things will run your heart. That's why we need to preach to those people that our families and our friends to accept Jesus Christ into their heart. I know it's going to be a, a great pain for somebody to know that across the streets right there, something that someone that you know that is born in there. But Bible say to us that how we're going to undo that. He says it's going to make everything new. Oh, he says it's going to make everything new to us. Whether God is going to erase your memory, because I don't know how you can undo that. That you know somebody is, is there over there, that you know, and is in that hell, in that pain. Not, not only 100 million, not, 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 what, not million of years, eternity. There's no end to this. So that's why every one of us want to rise up and let people know about this good news of God, what he has done for them. That means he has paid the price for your life. So you don't have to die. You have to choose life. But it's going to be a terrible thing. When you look in front, you know there is air right there. And someone that we know is there. That we know the other thing that you have in your heart. I should have preached the gospel. I should have let them know. I pray the grace of God will rest upon us in Jesus name. The grace of God will rest upon your heart. Open your heart and say father I thank you. For saving me. Thank him for knowing you. For knowing him. Thank him. Thank the Lord for knowing him. I give praise to you. Oh, Lord, I thank you for all that you have done for me. Somebody appreciate him. Let's give that honor and praise to God of heaven for all that he has done. Jehovah God. Open your heart to God. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray, let's say, Lord, I cover myself by the blood of Jesus. Forgive me my sins, O oh God. Why do we ask for forgiveness every day? It's true, because we all sin all time before the Lord. We have to amend our way back to God at all time. We all sin, whether in thought, whether in act. We all sin. We all sinner. That's why we need Jesus in our life. Let's ask the Lord, the Lord Jehovah God, to forgive us all our sin. Father, I come to you. I am a sinner. I'm not worthy to call upon you. Remember, he said, if I've eaten iniquity in my heart, he said, he will not listen to us. Father, I have iniquity in my heart. I have iniquity in my heart. I have iniquity in my heart. Daddy, forgive me. Remove it from me. Give me the heart for you. Open your heart and pray. He told you that he's going to give. If I have iniquity in my heart, but he promised that he's going to give us a new heart. He told us that I'm going to give you a new heart. He said he's going to give us a new heart. He said, if I've hidden iniquity in my heart, he said, the Lord will not hear me. The word of God told us. He said, the Lord will not hear me. But he says, he promised us in his word that I'm going to give us, he's going to give us a new heart. Somebody pray that prayer. That the Lord God of heaven to give that new heart to you in the name of Jesus he told us in Ezekiel chapter 30, 36, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, he says, a new heart. Also, I will give you a new spirit. 
Remember, he said, if I've eaten iniquity in my heart, he said he's not going to listen to me. But also promise us in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 20, uh, 26, that I'm giving you a new heart, a new spirit. Say, Lord, this morning, give me a new heart. That means you think differently. You think differently. In your thinking, you act differently. Yeah, because when we have a new heart, we do things differently. Open your mouth to the will of God. Say, Father, give that new heart to me. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray it. Open your heart to pray. You need it. It's more than money. It's more than when you have this, this new heart. That breakthrough will come. That success will come. All those things you are praying for will come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, somebody pray. He promised that he's going to give us a new heart and a new spirit. Somebody pray this morning. Say, Father, give me a new heart and give me a new spirit. See, a new heart to obey. A new heart to surrender. A new heart to do your will. Can you pray and ask the Lord? Can you call upon the Lord? Say, Father, Give me a new heart. He said, uh, a new heart, also I will give you. And a new spirit, I will put within you. I will take away the stony heart. Say, Daddy, take that stubborn heart away from me. That heart that I don't want to submit to God's will. That heart that I don't want to surrender. That heart that I don't want to follow. That heart that I don't want to carry the cross. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody pray. Take that heart away from me. Somebody pray, tell the Lord, take that heart, that heart of malice, heart of hatred, unforgiveness, evil thought, wrongdoing. Open your mouth and pray, lie. Open your heart and pray, lost. Whatever that heart may be, say, Daddy, take it away from me. That heart. So go pray, pray for your children. The Lord should take away that stony heart away from them. Open your heart to God. Take it away. Give me the heart of flesh. That heart is soft heart. And I will, I, I will give you the heart of flesh. Open your mouth and pray. And I will put my spirit within you. And I will cause you to walk in my status. And I shall keep, and you shall keep my judgment. That we're going to keep the status of God. We're going to keep the status of God in our life. And walk in the judgment of God. And walk in the law of God. Open your heart and pray. Do this for me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray. Pray, do this for me, O oh God. Somebody pray. Open your heart and pray. Do this for my children, O oh God. Give them a new heart, a new spirit. Take away the stony heart, away from me, in the name of Jesus, to obey, to follow to surrender in the name of Jesus, to run after you, Ikapaye at all times, in the name of Jesus, to obey your word to the end, Ikatayama Yaba. Somebody pray in Jesus' name. We pray, and ye shall dwell in the land that I will give to your father, that I give to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. This is the promise of God. That he promised us that what is going to happen to us and what he did through the Holy Spirit, he fulfilled this prophecy, this word. Remember, the Holy Spirit now dwells in the believers. So anyone that believes in Christ, the Holy Spirit dwells in them now. The Holy Spirit lives in us. And yes, he lives in us. He says he's going to be our God. And you go to be my people and I will be the God for you. Remember, if God is for God for you, who can be against you? Satan himself cannot be against you when God is for you. So all what you need is to draw God to yourself, to your side, and no one can be against you. Even if the world, the whole world be against you, they're going to fall because you have drawn the only person that you need, which is God himself on your side. But if you gather the whole billions of this world, the billions population of this world on your side, and put God aside. God will stand alone. Everyone will. Every, that person is going to lose. So what you need is to let God be on your side. And I will save you from all uncleanness. Remember, who is talking now 
is God says he's going to do it for you. And, and we also save you, I we also save you from all un uncleanness. And I will call you from the, and I will call, I will call for the corn, and I will increase it, and thou shalt lay no more famine upon you. See what God is saying to you that is going to happen in your life. Lift your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, remove every uncleanness from me. Lift your voice. When all those things being applied to your life, the, the blessing will follow. That will remove all uncleanness from me. In the name of Jesus, remove all uncleanness from me. According to your word, open your mouth and pray. Say, he's going to save you. He says, I am removed from all uncleanness, from those things that want to destroy us. Those things that want to destroy our children. He says, he's going to remove it from us. Somebody pray. Somebody Somebody pray, remove it from me. On uncleanness, ika filthiness, garment of disappointment, garment of filthiness, ika paya paye person to yama. Somebody pray, remove it from my life. Can we pray? Can we lift our voice and tell the Lord that the Lord God of heaven to remove it from you? Jehovah God, remove it from him. Uncleanness, O God, in my life. In my home, in my family, somebody pray in the life of my children, in my life, in my heart. That he remove uncleanness from me. Father, remove it in Jesus' name. We pray. He said, I will call for that corn and I will increase it. He said, he's going to call for that corn and that will, that means your blessing. Say that, let my blessing come right now. Open your mouth and pray, begin to pray. Father, let your blessing rest upon me. Remember, whatever that have not been blessed or being blessed can never increase. That's why I always say, in part of your prayer every day, ask God to bless you. That's one prayer that I can recommend for you that you should pray every day. It should be part of your prayer. Mercy of God. You pray for mercy of God that every day ask for his mercy. Because it's the mercy of God that will do it. Not him that run it. Not him that will it. He told you quickly. One of the prayer as one of our can recommend that it should be part of your prayer every day when you wake up. Ask for God's mercy. Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Hallelujah. And secondly, Lord bless me. Lord bless me. Because anything that is not blessed in life can never increase. If a marriage is not blessed, that marriage will scatter. No matter how you want to do it. No matter how effort you put through it. If that marriage is not blessed, it will scatter. If business, you want to start a business and the business is not blessed, that business will permit at the end. You know, no anything, if a journey is not blessed, that's why David, no, that's why Jacob fought for that blessing. He fought so hard for it because he knew that all what he has gathered in the house of Laban will be destroyed in one day. He knew that very well, clearly that, ah, this is trouble right here. You know, this is a trouble. He knows that very well. With all that he had, he has 12 children, you know, made everything, you know, and he realized it. Ah, that's why, remember, that's why he began to divide everything in a portion, portion. You go first. You go because he knows those things can be destroyed in a second. That's why he fought for that blessing. He fought so hard. And he said, bless me. I will not let you go. Bless me until you say something about blessing upon my life. I will not let you go. So, one of your prayer every day, as you pray, when you are doing anything, Lord, bless my work, bless my life. When the blessing, that's what the promise. He said, I will bless God. What he said to Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. So, you need the mercy of God as part of your journey in life, the mercy of God, and also you need the blessing of God. He said, let them cause. Remember, that's how blessing is very important. He said, the scripture say, let the enemy curse. Let them begin to say any negative things. Oh, yeah, you will never be this. You will never be that. He said, but you, God, bless. Because if God can bless, the curse of enemy will not prevail. Because you are a blessed person. Today, the Lord will bless you. Ilya, Makaya, I say you are blessed. Say that, amen. Your children is blessed. 
Your womb is blessed. Your life is blessed. Your work is blessed. Your family is blessed. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed of the Lord. 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 And so today, whatever you lay your hand for good is blessed. I said the blessing of God followed you. The blessing of God follow your life. The blessing of God follow your children. The blessing of God follow you. And so today, you are a blessed person. Your family is blessed. We are 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 blessed. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in every area of life. You are blessed financially. You are blessed spiritually. You are blessed physically. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous God. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Say that in the name of Jesus, I will call for the icon. And I will increase it. And thou and lay no more famine upon you. Say that in the name of Jesus. Let me begin to increase. In every area of my life. Can you begin to pray? In, he says he's going to call for your corn to increase. In the name of Jesus. And no more famine. No more shame. No more barrenness in my life anymore. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for that open doors. Pray for that blessing. No more, no more failure. He said, no more famine, no more lack in my life, no more disappointment in the name of Jesus, no more sickness in my body. Somebody pray that prayer. Somebody pray. No more delay, no more delay, no more deny in my life. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. No more, no more, no more failure, no more sickness in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Your life must be blessed this morning. Your children must be blessed this morning in the name of Jesus. Your business must be blessed in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay under must be blessed. The glory of God must shine through you. The blessing of God must shine through you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Do you know what the enemy wants for our life? Enemy wants failure to continue. He wants sickness to continue. Today is you that will not agree. Sometimes we look unto God for God just to step in. But when you don't call upon God, God will not do anything for you. I want you to know that. There are many scriptures, there are many verses in the Bible that tells us that we should call. Even though God knows what is happening to you. But God, you know what is happening in my life. He knows. Yeah. Okay. He will not do anything until you give him access to it. He owns your life. He owns you. But you give access to him. Never force himself into our life. It's a choice. It's set to choose. Hallelujah. Never force himself into your life. Say, I will force myself. But it's a choice. He can give grace to choose. Hallelujah. He said, I said before you life and death. But he encouraged everyone. He said, but please, choose life. Because God knows what is happening is going to happen after them, afterward, that what is coming. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. No more. No more failure in my life. I, I don't know that very thing. No more delay upon my papers. Is that what you are telling God right now? No more delay upon my moving forward, upon my going higher. No more, no more sickness, no more untimely death. Can you begin to disagree with those things and begin to say no more to it? No more in the name of Jesus. Let my life remain in one circle. Man, there's no more that my life parabolate in the wilderness of failure, in the wilderness of stagnancy. Remember, some people die in that wilderness, they can't be able to come out. No more. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of that wilderness of life. In the name of Jesus. I'm coming out of these circumstances that I find myself. That situation you find your life. Somebody pray. Solutions shall come for me. Solutions shall manifest. In the name of Jesus. As I experience solution to my life. Somebody pray. 
The Lord Jehovah God will make it possible for men. The Lord Jehovah God will make it possible for my life. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God will make it possible for my dream to come to pass. Jehovah God will make it possible. Ikabaya, leketelia, lakadolia, moshondolia, mekodibokoshe, leketu beregaya. Makada gada gada, le kotole be gada, rokoteli me se, bakotele ya. Thank you, my daddy. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray for somebody call anyone walker. Whatever before you today, whatever that's ahead of you, only spirit will clear the way for you. Only spirit will go ahead and clear the way for your life. Whatever that before you today, the Lord will clear the way for this person. Every evil plan shall be destroyed. Every plan of the evil one shall be destroyed. Every plan of the evil one shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, I will fulfill my dreams. What is your dream? There are many dreams in you. Do you know many of us, we are pregnant of many things in life. It's time for you to deliver. Do you know some some people? I don't know medical. I don't know how medically whether now in this day of technology, whether it can still happen. You know, do you know some people have carried pregnancy more than nine months? Yes, they are more than nine months. I I don't know how whether they are afraid to do operation or something like that. I don't know. Whether this, you know, you know, now is now people are, you know, it's so easy. Some people just want them to, you know, seizure. They just that's what they want in life. But I've seen people, you know, I've heard of people who carry pregnancy more than a man, more than nine months for a woman. They on peace only come when you are when you deliver what you carry. When, when peace will come, joy will come when a woman deliver. What she carried. Now relief is going to come. The Bible talks about it. Relief is going to come. You feel free. I give every woman kudos. You know, I give every woman kudos. Every woman, I will say to you, kudos, kudos to you. You know, another thing, do you know that a man cannot do it because we are not wired like that. You know, sometimes I was so surprised. Like after a woman passed through two pain, go through all those things, and I say, sir, another woman say, oh, I want another BP again. I say, Sometimes they always shock. What? <laughs> you thought this thing passed through, you see one hand. Because the Bible says that after that relief, you will forget about the pain. The Bible talks about it. That when a woman gives a bath, that pain, you will forget it. That's why there's another a woman can come again and say, Oh, I want to have a child. After all, been, all they have been through, they have caught their wombs, they have caught all kind of stuff from this thing. And with all these things, they say, Oh, eh, eh, eh. I'm thinking of having another baby. Eh? With all these things? Because the Bible talks about they will forget about their pain. Today, today, you will forget about that pain. Why? Because the joy comes. The joy of the baby. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, I will give back to my dream. My children will give back to their dreams. Open your mouth and pray. In this city, I will give back to my dreams. All what that you are pregnant of, all what you carry, I will give back. My dream will not be aborted. Ikabaya, every spiritual assassin that assassin dream, every spiritual assassin that assassin glory, Ikataya, Leperusete, Leketekepa, the plan over me shall be destroyed. Every enslaver in my life, the plan shall be destroyed. Can you lift a voice that you will deliver your dream? You have been carried. It shall surely come to pass. I shall surely experience it. 
I shall surely see it happening. I shall surely enter into it. I shall surely eat from it. I shall surely enjoy it. My dreams. My dreams. My dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bah, bah, bah. All their dreams. Your dreams over your children to be great in life. Your dreams over your husband. Your wife to increase shall surely come to power in the name of Jesus. Your dreams over your oh, 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 in that country at the place of work. The Lord will bring it to pass. My dream shall not be aborted. Ikatayaba shall not be assassinated. Yekete li mekete. Boko peli kete. Obu yo ato bre. Ikata ikalaba. Ikataya. You have been carrying to this war. I will deliver it this year. I will deliver it this year. It shall surely come to pass. Ikatayaba. I will experience it. My joy that I've been waiting for. My miracle that I've been believing God. It shall surely come to pass. Your word over me. Somebody pray the word of the Lord over you that you're going to be great. The word of the Lord will lie that you will multiply. The word of God over you that you will live long shall surely come to pass. Somebody pray the word of the Lord in the life of everyone. In the life of Musu. In the life of deep, 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 in the life of in Jesus name. Pray. Lift your voice. I, I will come out of this situation. I will not die in it. You know sometimes you will find yourself in what you don't expect in life. You know it happened. You just oh, you want to do this and you find yourself in what I don't expect this. Oh my God. And if somebody don't really careful or when do, go before the Lord and pray to God it can depress life. It can turn life up up, 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 down. Because you don't expect it. That means you are not, what you don't expect, you don't prepare for it. You know that? Yes. Because if you don't expect it, oh, I don't expect that, oh, when I come to this country, this is what it's going to be. I just think everything is going to be fine. And you show up and say, oh, I'm very sorry. Do you have a social security? So I don't have a social security. You say, oh, my God, you can't walk. Hey, I'm not going to do it. You can't get a job. You don't expect it over. Oh my, oh my, my God. By one year now, I'm going to go back home. I tell you, I bet you are still there many years now. You can't even. <laughs> yes. The main thing that you don't expect. But no matter what you don't expect, God is still in charge of it. You don't expect by now that so that you don't have husband, that you don't have a child. If you want to, remember, it's not a crime, it's not a disease. That if somebody says you don't have husband, don't marry. Listen, it's not a crime. If you choose to, that I don't want. Even the Bible support it. Bible support it. Bible supported it. That if you, do, if you don't want, that means it must be from your own mind, not somebody denying you of it. So you will never marry. You will never multiply. That's another thing, okay? That you, you should not agree. If somebody chooses not to, it's not a crime. The Bible to be able to serve the Lord very well. I know every parent don't want to hear that. Oh, you must give me my own grandchildren. You must give me some. Mm -hmm. Which is great. There's nothing bad in that. It is in the God's program. God wants us to multiply, to increase. Your children will increase. All your children that you are praying for to increase. You want your joy over them. Today, God will break that yoke in their life. Hey, my yaya, my koli, my saida. Kodaya, my uta, ita, isa, de. Pokandali, my kopla, dekete. As you pray for your children, miracle that you need, that you are expecting from the lie, we surely come to pass. We surely come to pass. You will rejoice. The joy of a parent to see their children doing good. You know, I always see my parents always telling me, my mom, especially my mom, when things happen, oh, you may say it in my language. So I always say, it won't mean it was my own, it was my own, 
now when I begin to have my own, and now I realize it, what is she saying that time? And I, you know, when I have my children too, so I have the, when things happen, the way I react to, hey, what, what are you doing? What are you? <laughs> so I see the way what he's saying that that's, uh, the, the joy of a parent is when their children is doing good. So now I have that feeling, I have that mind to know that, oh, my family, my family, my family, my family, you know, <laughs> hallelujah. I mean, you know, Mark Kubami, you know, so that, that was Mark Kubami. So you, you, you see it, so you can see. They, so they want something great. I pray for every parent that your prayer is over your children. Ever we answer it now. In the name of Jesus. God of ever we answer your prayer. Every prayer that is praying. That who paya ya ya mo soto ya gala. Mulo ble yen te ke peru sate. Lo blando ke prando sakate la. Wahili meko shatari meko blada. Jadeli meko perikata. Every parent that I hear this morning. That your prayer is over your children. That what makes you to cry is over your children. What makes you to think over your children. Today I stand by the authority of my father. By the power of him. By the grace of him this morning. Let God of heaven hear your prayers. Let God of heaven hear your prayers. Let God of heaven hear your prayers. Let heaven respond quickly. Respond to every request. Over your children. Over your children. Over your children. Over your children. Your years of sorrow. Your years of disappointment. Your years of expectation. Ah, makaili masaila. Muko pelikete. Ikatoli mikete liba. Let God bring to an end. Your years of blessing begin now. Joy. Joy. Ay, matali asada. Muyekili muko pelikete. Zodoli muko pelikete gaba. Mushanduli muko telibakata. Fabi flekent telibo. La santo li mikete telibo. I just hear one word. I don't know how you come in. Don't know. You know, tale of a tale of a horse. Irrushing, irrushing. Hallelujah. Tale of a horse. Tale. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. To me, I, I hear it, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hallelujah. But I pray, no matter what may be, today heaven break that yoke. Heaven break that yoke. Heaven break that yoke. Whatever they may be, heaven break that yoke. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where they're supposed to be, they'll be there. In the name of Jesus. Where they're supposed to be in life, they'll be there. Ikatayaba kapayesi, sudayaba. Lumblendekata. All what you have been praying to happen in their life. Ikapa for good. Let it begin to happen. Make Jehovah will give you joy and make you happy over your children. So shall it be. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, he prays. Look at what he promised us. In that Ezekiel chapter 36, verse. He said, I will multiply the fruit of thy tree. And I increase the feed. I will and, and increase of thy feed. Thy shall increase. No more reproach of the famine among the hidden. God promised that he's going to multiply. He's going to increase thy fruit. Increase thy feed. He shall receive no more reproach. Say no more reproach in my life. No more reproach in my home. No more reproach in my family. Open your mouth and pray. Say father, take away my reproach this morning. Take away my reproach this morning. Take away my reproach this morning. Take away la pale pata satoli makapelia satete tete tete rupakata kata. Take away my reproach this morning. Ikabayaba. Somebody pray. Tell peto shata lekete keto yaba loko peru shata jakando le mekople. Rapateli ada, iko toli gadaba, yeke toli mese, soko pelikete. In the life of Soya, ikata yaba. In the life of Tolope, rape sikete, le prendo sikelebo. In the life of Jibe, rapati kete, rape tekete, la sendele, rakatolia, sondoli kete. Take away every reproach, take away every reproach, take away. Thank you, my daddy. 
in Jesus name we pray I don't know somebody that I don't know whether you are afraid to do certain things I don't know what I mean I'm saying like a boat a boat like a boat not a big a, a boat and that's what I'm hearing when I'm looking at that boat you say I will go with you I don't know what you're trying to do that you are afraid of to do it I don't know that thing like a small boat not big boat not a small boat boat a boat but what I hear that I'm going to go with you not me I can't go nowhere I'm going to be here me <laughs> But he's saying that I'm going to go with you. He's going to go with you. I don't know what you want to do that you're afraid. Don't you worry. He's going to go with you. He's going to go with you. He's going to go with you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, fear not. He's going to go with you. The Lord is going to go with you. You will see him on your right hand. You will see him every side of your life. You will see him in his power. In his glory. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray and tell Lord, Daddy, today I don't want to see the reproach in my life anymore. There are many reproach in life where you cannot have a say to talk, where you cannot have a say that can you come and join? I'm not lying. Uh, you say no, no, I'm not going to join because they will ask you a question. Oh, my sister, how how over this year? Well, tell us about your life, and you know people. Know how to say things behind the back. If they, they they are just if they are saying things behind your back, they still you know they still respect you. You know, let them be. But <laughs> if they want to take everything, they will say it in front of you, and nothing you do. If you say somebody is saying something behind your back, just begin to thank the Lord because they come to a point they will throw it at you. Come on, what's happening to you? You know you don't have, you don't have anything in life now. Come on, we've just been tolerating you for all this while. You don't know your children. That shall not be your portion. Your case shall be of glory. In the name of Jesus. Your mockery, your shame shall talk to glory. All what people have known about you. Ah, my yaya, my shandia. All what they are saying. The yaba kata, but man swag, the new golaye, the yipo go sata. We turn your shame to glory. 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 The Lord Jehovah God, we turn your shame to glory. Father, we turn your shame to glory. Oh, my Kadaba. Lo sondo le kelebo. Le kende lebo kaba. Lo sande lebo kaba. Jehovah God, we turn your shame to glory. That Jehovah God, we turn your shame to glory. Ikapaya. Le prondo sikete. Jehovah God, we turn your shame to glory. You will show forth of his praise. You will show forth of his praise. Your life will show forth of his praise. You will be a testifier of God's goodness. Your life will be a testifier of God's blessing. Your life will be a testifier of God's goodness. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed of the Lord. 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 Lord. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. It will not end up in shame. 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 No matter. It will not end up in shame. For you. It will not end up in shame. For your life. It will not end up in shame. For your children. The Lord will surprise you. Oh. My yaya. My sign. The Abakota. Le prendo shin. The Lord. The Lord. The God will surprise you. The Lord. The God will surprise you. It will surprise you. You will receive an answer. Say amen. You will receive an answer to your request. You will receive an answer to your prayers. You will receive an answer in the name of Jesus. No more reproach in your life. Thank you, good God. From blessing, from glory to glory, that shall be your portion. The Lord will send help to you. Help that you need this morning. Receive it. Say that amen louder. If you can double that, amen. Help that you need this morning, receive it. Help that you need in your life, receive it. Help that you need in every area of life, receive it. Help that you need in the life of your children, receive it. Receive that help that you are looking for. Oh, my yada, that help for victory, receive it. 
that help for open doors. That help, that help that you that you need this morning, receive it. That help for your life, the help for your life, the help for your children, the help in your marriage that you need, receive it. Receive that help. Receive that help. Receive that help in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's somebody here this morning. God says he's going to show you what cause. Oh, let me see. That is going to reveal to you a miracle. That person the core miracle. Remember. I mean, if I put it down, if I break that word down, I mean, it's going to reveal himself to you. That's what he's saying to me. That's the way I understand. Because remember, he himself is the miracle himself. That means he's going to reveal it to you. He's going to reveal it in your life. Let that word come to pass in your life quickly. May you see it happening quickly. Quickly. May you see it before the end of this month. May you see it happening. May you experience it. Oh, my yaya, my kopeli sata. May you see it. May you see the glory of God. Thank you, my father. Ilya, my kopeli shine na boko pali sotai. Your glory will shine. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, our King will pray. Amen. Ask God for what you need. Tell the Lord, this is your moment to, to, to express your own self in your own way to Him. Now, remember this is your moment when I say ask. Don't hesitate to ask. Remember, you can be able to do it exceedingly, abundantly, above your request. So you can do beyond your reason. So present your case before Him. Tell Him. Throw it at Him. Your body. You can be able to handle it. Is that not the word of God that told us? Cast your body on Him because He cares for you. Cast it on him. Throw it at him. Leave it for him. I leave this battle for you, God. I leave this delay for you, God. I leave this problem for you, God. Is your own as on today. Lord, is your own as on today. Is your own as on today. He, tell him he can undo it. He has a power. I leave this for you. Is your own. I leave it for you. Is your own as on today. I leave it for you. Is my own today. This barrenness, I leave it for you. Is your own as on today. So shall it be. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our King will pray. May Jehovah God answer your prayers and grant you the desires of your heart. Father, we cover that water by the blood of Jesus. Do that water, we ask for healing and deliverance. Let everyone that lifts up their receive their healing. Receive your healing today. In any area that you are sick, receive your healing. Let the healing power of Jesus Christ touch you right now. See that? Amen. Let the healing power of Jesus Christ, there's the healing power of Jesus Christ, touch you, touch your body, touch your body, touch your life. Healing power of Jesus, touch you. Healing power of Jesus, touch you. You are here. You are delivered. You are here. You are blessed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Our King will pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, today is Thursday, right? Okay, there's a prayer tonight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so to, I thought it today is uh, it's Thursday, you know. Today is Thursday, so there's a prayer tonight. And also, what is it doing? And tomorrow, I, I always say that every fourth, fourth week in the first month is our testimony day. So, begin, we can give our testimony in time. <clears throat> so, but we put it, we just put a time on it. Friday, first Friday of the month, and first Friday of, and first Saturday of the month is our testimony. And why do you do that? Do you know that it's good to share your testimony? I know many of many theory people go, oh, don't share your testimony, don't share you. Mm -mm. It's a zeal of that miracle. You can't praise him and he will put you down. So you give your testimony tomorrow. And Saturday by God's grace, but you can do it at any time, you know, by God's grace. Just let me know. Remember, tomorrow, those that want to give their testimony, 
from tomorrow and Saturday in text and uh, we start from there and also let us put in mind our program coming up in this month if you're in the Badan area if you live in Nigeria the Badan area there's a program coming on on the 25 of this month which also I will encourage you that you be a support also to that program in anything that you want to do whether you just want to do because you want to distribute a stuff food food stuff a little bit in our own little way to people just to be a blessing you know I told you if you want to take one bag of rice one gari ewa whatever thing that uh, you know do whatever thing that you think you can do in your own way in your own a cheerful giver of yourself you know do it just let me know and please another thing if you want to send anything make sure you put that thing that this is for this I don't want to mix anything up if you are, want to be if you, or if you want to send the food there it's okay no problem just I'll tell you when to deliver it it's okay so anything that you want to do just make sure this is for this put it there this is for this yeah yeah so this this money is for the food make sure you do that hallelujah so we know this is what we have to able to be a blessing to others make sure and i encourage everyone even if there's ten dollars you do something those ten dollars will do something for people you know so we pray we just oh my god by the ending of this month we gather it and the people that comes to the program you know in the community we just be a blessing and give to them you know by god's grace and also let us put in mind um in october six and seven in Houston area if you're in Houston by God's grace if you are in Houston and also we are still working on Chicago so if you are still in Chicago let us you know you know this program also coming up by God's grace I know Lord Jesus God you will do great thing and also in October 20, 22 in Maryland here there will be a praise wash praise night so I encourage you also to come it's a praise day where on October 22 you know next October it's a praise you know we're going to have people to to give God the praise so also you can be there also to give your praise before the Lord I know great things will happen for you in the name of Jesus father we thank you for what you have given to us we thank you the same way the way we came we are not going the same way because you are too much for that daddy we thank you the same way everyone joined the prayer line this morning we are not going to say because you are too much because you are God of glory you have power all things belongs to you we know that everyone shall be blessed everyone shall experience your glory and everyone that are here will come back with a testimony because it's going to happen for them and we all say we return all the glory back to you in Jesus name we pray Amen let's share the grace together for the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the spirit of the Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life. Shall do it now to love forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? You are blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for being here. See you later on tonight. God bless you.